see, uh, maybe if we just knock. Anybody home? You know, boss, I don't think that's ever going to work. I, <laughs> you never know. We keep trying. That's what the third door we've knocked on. <laughs> what about this console? Oh, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Now, oh, I thought we have some long number here. Okay, uh, we've got Leo's bartering stuff. No. Coordinates, no. No. What was. The four five five three one one two. Oh, that was the hours of power. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we have. We have anything like that. Maybe some of the stuff we can pick up from Leo will let us in there. Oh, it's like a child robot. All storage bladders empty. I guess that's a good thing. <laughs> Did you just empty your storage bladder in front of me? It's far too high to try climbing. All right, Crispin. Not gonna happen, boss. Damn it, Crispin. Some kind of track running up the side of the tower. Okay, so that's possible way of entry. Okay, that just goes back to this. Um, man, that's really long. Uh, let me just recap here. What did... Uh, memory reader, so maybe that could help. I don't know what the glass finger is going to do for us. Keep uh, looking around. It's too heavy for me to lift. It looks like this metal disc is covering something. Right, I wrote down there. Yeah, the other works again. Too heavy though. Robar, maybe? Hey, Armstrong, top me off, will you? There we go. Okay, before we go down there, there's some uh, there's an info terminal here. Welcome, MetroMind welcomes you to our city of Metropole. This city is a safe haven for all machines. System records indicate that you have come from Outskirts Station. All newcomers are required to familiarize themselves with local laws. You may also be interested in our history and landmarks. Okay, so do I type in here? Um, laws? Oh, printout! Isn't that nice? Something came out of the machine. Fine, fine. Let me down for another megacycle. Metropolitan Law. Metropolitan Law is too vast for an ordinary robot to learn in full, but MetroMind ensures that it is applied efficiently and fairly. Newcomers to the city should familiarize themselves with the Corrupt Data Elimination Plan, Topic CDEP, and the Refugee Rule, as well as the Efficiency Initiative. Okay, let's look up CDEP. Corrupt Data element Elimination Plan. In order to protect the city from corrupt data, MetroMind and the Ad Hoc Robot Council passed the CDEP, under which all information relating to certain untrue subjects, such as Mythological Man, is subject to swift elimination. Physical media containing such data will be disposed of in the Underworks Quarantine Zone. That must be where our, uh... That must be where our book is. Our gospel. I just need to type something in. Okay, what was the... Check out this printout. The Law in You, a Metropolitan Guide. It's written by Clarity Arbiter Build. Okay. Um, the history. Metropole was built in layers by primordial robots, each generation improving on the last in an endless train of progress. A lot of progress. At one time, the city was governed by a council, but by mutual agreement, sole power was bestowed upon MetroMind, for whom the city is now named. Cool. 
Can I, like, type in Metro Mind? There we go. Okay, we can type in anything. Metro Mind is the guide guardian and eponym of Metropol. Ponum? I've never heard that word before. Um, empowered by the ad hoc robot council to steer the city toward progress and a bright future. Metro Mind is led with great efficiency and clear logic. She shares energy, parts, and raw materials with all robots, asking only that they share processor cycles in exchange to help advance the common good. Thanks to Metro Mind, the city has followed an unbroken path of progress. I just want to check out. Isn't that interesting? Okay, wow. You can look up any number of words. Progress is the inexorable process by which basic machines grow more complex over time. All thinking machines must, to fulfill their nature, both develop themselves and build superior robots to take their place. Progress is both a factual and an ethical imperative. Metromind is responsible for guiding Metropole's progress. Really? There's no there's no topic for Metropole. I wonder how far can I tape a machine? Okay. Go back to the beginning. Got history landmarks. In order to conserve energy and improve efficiency, only the city center is now accessible to metropolitan robots. Here, one can find the famed council tower rising high above Metropole, and the old courthouse, and the historic central station, while well, it's Metropole's main street. For safety's sake, do not enter the underworks. Let's try. Underworks. Under rocks. The underworks are closed for public safety and will be reopened once additional repairs are complete. Thank you for your patience. Safety. <laughs> okay. Anything else? History of landmarks. Um, I don't know. Nothing else I can think of. Well, let's keep looking around. I don't know how that printout's gonna help us. Oh, what's this? Hey, boss, look! That repair bot has a floating helper just like you do. There's a red, burning, crashed hover bus and a writhing electrical cable, and that's the first thing you notice. <laughs> I can't help it. She's beautiful. Aww. We're not getting to her until we deal with this cable. Can you, uh, take care of that little robot? It's kind of hoping, uh, the, the child robot would run into it. How can we deal with that cable? Crowbar? It's too dangerous. The crowbar might conduct the electricity. True. That's never... Doubt that will happen. We talk to. Uh... Can't you do something about that cable? According to my work order, I gotta finish salvaging this bus first. That's ridiculous. Not my decision. What about floater? Beep beep. <laughs> Not with that cable in the way. Can Crispin? Can you just Crispin? Can you fly around the cable and push it off yeah. the street? But didn't you just say it's too dangerous to get close well, not to Not from the top. I'm giving you a chance to impress her, Crispin. Just fly up high enough that you don't get close to the sky. Exactly. Spots. Fine. There you go. Maybe we can help this guy out. Excuse me. Can't you see I'm working? I've said it before, but I'll say it again. You do know this ship is never going to fly again, right? You're right about that. This old airing bus can only fly to begin with. Still, there might be some parts here that Metromine can use to get another bus up and running. Anyway, what do you want? Hey, boss, ask him about his helper. Yeah. What happened here? What I'll get to that. Like? The airing bus's motor gave out and it crashed. Into the only bridge leading from Main Street to the rest of the city center. Was anyone on board? Sure, but they've already been salvaged. Salvage. Oh, nice. <laughs> can't repair without parts. You can't get parts without salvage. What about building new parts? 
Yeah, I mean, what factory? Look, everyone wants to spot bugs, but no one wants to write code. You got a better way to run a city? Go out and build one. Otherwise, get with the program. Mm. I'm the opposite. I prefer to write code than, than squash bugs or find bugs. Finding bugs suck. Uh, I think we know enough about Metromind for now. I'm looking for a big robot. It floats and has big claws and shoots lasers. It scraper. After the last big cave in, the two of us worked together on trying to fix the blue line. He's on the simple side, but a hard worker. What about him? He took something of mine. Yeah, salvaged it probably. That's what most of us do for Metromind these days. Stole it. Hey, you yeah. say router, I say router. Anyway, not my problem. Hey, yeah, uh, where where can I find him? Where can I find Son Trigger? of a bitch. Do I look like a tour guide? Piece of advice for you. Don't mess with the code if you can't handle the glitches. Very profound. Okay, uh, power source. You guys not gonna know. You know where I can find a power well, he knows, source. but it's if not gonna help. I did that myself, myself and run into the tower. My friend is <laughs> curious go. about your helper. Ah, uh, she's just a sidekick factor build. Thousands of them rolled off the assembly line back in the day, but she's probably the only one left. Uh. Really, not much more than a floating lantern and headlamps are a lot cheaper. She says you're not much more than a floating plasma torch. She's right. <laughs> when will the bridge be passable? Soon? So I'd say something on the order of a month, give or take. Wow. A month, give or take. And there's no other way off Main Street. Not unless you got a jetpack hiding under that jacket. Well, at least that narrows our options down, boss. Okay, well, we might as well ask. You mentioned Metromind. Yeah, sure. She's in charge of this big circuit board we call Metropole. What can you tell me about her? What do I look like? The information kiosk? I want to know what I think. Metromind is the best thing that ever happened in this place. Really? You're well, just saying that because you have to? All these other machines grinding about are just tools in the toolbox. But Metromind, she's got the master plan. Progress. Got a nice ring to it, too. So as part of the master plan of trashing buses into roads? Look, there's plenty of rust to go around, but Metromind's the only one scrubbing. Not her fault that some of the metal's too far gone. It looks to me like you're the one scrubbing, not Metromind. Like I said, I'm just a tool in the box. Now, I gotta get back to work. Yeah. I'm not here to steal parts. Nope. A crashed hover bus. So we're gonna fix it up and do something amazing with it, right, boss? No. Sure. It's not our property or our problem. Light. There's nothing worth bothering with. I guess the pilot didn't see the stoplight. Ah, oh, I see. Okay, let's continue on. I wonder how that's gonna play into things. Or is it just a way of them blocking off this city for us? Waiting area. This must be the court. Ahoy, my dear friend! Oswald Factorville, at your service. It's no more your dear friend than Rex is your creation, you besoin gear oiler. Oh, don't mind Cornelius. He's been bitter since the first great rolling brownout. Better? Better? I'll show you bitter, you backbiting bot snatcher. Oh, whoa! Like these guys, boss. Calm down there. <laughs> What's in that building? Why, Arbiter's Court, of course. Why else would we be here? I need to see Arbiter. We all do, my dear friend. But the courthouse is locked, and first comes, first served. Okay, maybe we can get these guys at a line. Why are you waiting in line? Justice! I'm here for justice! To prove that I, Cornelius Factorbuild, created this marvelous machine, Rex. Rex Cornelius built. Ignore him, my dear friend. Candidly, he's 10, 23 flops short of a kilo, if you catch my drift. The machine's name is Oswald Built. Rex Oswald Built. This is over a name? Why not just let Rex decide? Ridiculous! This is about principle. This is about pride. So, uh, boss? Would you fight over me like this? You could call yourself Crispin Crispian for all I care. <laughs> Aww. As long as you still pull things off ledges for me, that is. Glad to know I'm loved. I love you, Crispin. Um, yeah, how, how are they going to decide? How are you going to decide who gets Rex? For the law, for the law. Please excuse my brother. He can barely remember Pi to the 23rd digit, let alone his manners. Oh, really? I rest my case. 
Suffice it to say, old chap, we await the reopening of the courthouse. Or more precisely, we await a summons from Arbiter who will decide our case. Who will say whose contribution was more important? Who will say, in fact, that my contribution was more important? See, these guys know about. I'm looking for a big robot. It floats and has lots of Our claws and shoots. Nemesis. Pictures. It stole something of mine. Have you seen it? Indeed. The robot you describe sounds like Scraper, Metro Mind's Enforcer. Okay. Whatever Scraper is it's called. confirmed now for I sure. He used to accept that. Oh, he refuses. How delightful. Do you know where I can find a power source? Alas, my friend, power is not so abundant in Metropole as it once was. Mag and uh, that's why Metro Mind sent him. And there's hardly enough to go around now. Metro Mind keeps all power sources in the Great Tower where the Council used to meet. If you want to share it, you will need to pay her in Mega Cycles. Mega Cycles? Yes, Mega Cycles, you ninny. CPU Cycles. Brain power. Oh, it's CPU kind of Cycles. Power she really wants. Her low rate processor was made for running trains, not a city. Ah, okay. That's what happened to us. She took our processing power. Could someone else judge your case? Of whom were you thinking? Metro Mind, perhaps? Authoritative to be sure, but I fear she would claim Rex for the good of all. And since the subway schemer, he means Metro Mind, shut down our builder factor, he cannot help either. What about mm. Horatio? Who? Me. And why should we listen to you? I've built a robot before. And I have no stake in this. Yes, yes, well and good, but this is a matter of law and logic. A bit harder than banging together a tin can like your companion. How can we know your reasoning is sound? Yeah. Test me. Test me. An interesting proposition. What do you say, Cornelius? What did I say? I say that you are a liar and a thief, Oswald. Aside from that. As to this Horatio. Well, as to him, so be it. Boss, if they make us find seven lost crystals, I'm quitting. <laughs> right, consider this. At the binomial biennial, seven robots in the probability circle are gathered for a party. The what circle is gathered at the what what? Is this some kind of vocab test? I said quiet. Each robot is either a factor built or a stone wireless built. Blasted stone wireless. <laughs> and moreover, each robot is designed with either a quad core, a linear type, or a multiplex processor architecture. This is ridiculous! Pay attention! Factor or Sternweiler? Quad core, linear type, or multiplex? Indeed. Now I will tell you three things about these probabilitists. Oh my god. First, there are more factor built robots than Sternweiler builds. Second, every linear type robot was built by Factor. Finally, Sternweiler never built a robot with a quad core. Now listen, which of the following statements about the probabilities oh so cannot possibly be true? Are you serious? <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, can I hear that again? Can you repeat the question? Oh my god. Indeed. Like this is gonna be math class. Okay. And moreover, each robot is designed with either a quad core, a linear type, or a multiplex processor architecture. Now I will tell you three things about these probabilitists. First, there are more factor built robots than Sternweiler builds. Second, every linear type robot was built by Factor. Finally, Sternweiler never built a robot with a quad core. Now listen, which of the following statements about. Um. Fuck, I don't know. Um. Let me, let me. Write this down. Could you repeat the question? Hmm. Indeed. At the binomial biennial, seven robots in the probability seven circle robots. are gathered for a party. Each robot is either a factor built or a stone wireless built. And moreover, each robot is designed with either a quad core, a linear type, or a multiplex processor architecture. Now I will tell you three things about these probabilitists. First, there okay. are more factor built robots than stone wireless builds. Second, every linear type robot was built by Factor. Finally, Sternweiler never built a robot with a quad core. Now listen, which of the following statements no about the probability circle cannot possibly be true? So more factor than uh, Stern. 
It, I missed the second one. Each robot is either a factor built or a stern one, and moreover, each robot. Now I will tell you three. First, there are more factor built. More factor than stern. Second, every linear type robot was built by factor. Linear factor. never built a robot with a quad core. Now listen. Which is the okay, so there's seven seven robots, quadlinear multi. There's more factors than sterns. Sterns have no quads. Linear linears are only built by factor. Um. Five robots have linear processors. Um, five robots have quad core processors. There's nothing about quad. Oh, Sturm had no quad. Okay. Four robots have multiplex processors. Nothing about that, really. Four robots were built by Sternweiler. Uh, that's not possible because there's more. So this one's wrong. And was it which one could be incorrect? Could you repeat? Indeed. At the each round, moreover, each now reverse. Second, finally. Now listen. Which of the following statements about the probability system cannot be true? This can't be true because there's more. There's more uh, factor robots built than uh, Stern, and there's seven, right? So four of them can't be built by Stern. Four robots were built by Sternweiler. Good show. The preceding facts are unchanged. Now, answer this. Oh God. If exactly two factor built robots have the same type of processor architecture, then which of the following must be true? Two factor, same. Oh my God. Um. Could you repeat? Hmm. Indeed, at the binomial each and more. Now I will tell you first, second, fine. Now, and if exactly two factor built robots have the same type of processor architecture, then which of the f Okay. Two of the seven robots. No. No. no, no, no! Oh my god. Okay. Try it again. Okay, this one. That's false. It's what's false, not what's true. God damn it. I think I would actually have to think in this game. Must be true. Okay. Um. Probably can't be true. Oh, it's it's what's true though. I thought it would. Oh, I thought it was this one. Three of the seven robots were built by Stern. So we got there's more factor than Stern. Stern has no quads. Um, factor builds linear. Could you repeat that <laughs> second one again? Each robot, and moreover, each robot is designed with... Now I will tell you first, there are more factor-built robots than Sternweiler builds. Second, every linear-type robot was built by... Every factor. linear was factor. Sternweiler never built a robot with a quad core. Now, answer this. If exactly two factor-built robots have the same type of processor architecture, then which of the following must be true? Um two factor two of them are the same. Try this one. Five of the seven robots were built by factor. <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm just gonna try all the combinations. Fuck thinking. Not in the mood for this. Uh, what if I get wrong? If you want, very good then. You can find a suitable judge. Wait, what? 
Goodbye. Cheerio. Goodbye. Cheerio. Oh, we failed too many times. Fuck. Goodbye. Cheerio. I quit. I quit this game. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I should have been able to figure that out, but I didn't want to think. Uh, all right, what about you? Hello? Hello? I don't think it can hear you, boss. Look at this Rex. A small, simple robot. Is that really the best idea you can come up with, boss? Hey, okay, what about this guy? Fuck. Excuse me. Sir, my apologies, sir. 187th Legion Belt, Surly Company, reporting. Uh... Horatio Surly Nobilt, Company? Five. <laughs> pleasure. Horatio Nullbuilt, sir? Never heard of any service bot with that designation. Still, it's good to see another Urbanian, sir. After things got fubar .com, I figured Surly Company was all that was left. Urbanian? What are you talking about? Uh. This sod! Finally made a friendly and uses chronic as primer. Yeah, what no does he offense, mean? Sir, just hoped... Well, never mind that. How can I assist you, sir? Yeah, I want to know more about this. Surly Company. Urbanian. What are you talking about? Um, well, sir, I'm not sure quite where to start. I had you figured for one of us, seeing as how you came up as a friendly on my IFF. Oh. I could see you as a member of Surly Company, boss, but as friendly? <laughs> nah. Zumi's got some mouth on him, huh, sir? Always do those flyboys. Look, why don't you just give me a quick rundown? Well, sir, can't say to harm, even if you are a decoy. War is over, after all. It was over before Surly Company even deployed. See, we're Urbanian robots. Long time back, Urbani and Metropol got to fighting over something. Uh, the Metropolitan so tried our civilians, and Legion told us to strike back. Word was, some big airship of ours was supposed to knock out Metropol's defenses, and we just come in from Mappa. But the Metros took our ship down with their own heavy hitter, some giant named Goliath. I see. Anyway, Surly Company was all that was left, so we deployed 200 strong. What happened then? Well, it's a long march from Urbani, sir, and most of us, well... Most of us broke down on the way. All said and done, the only ones who made it were me, 113th, and a signal bot we called Primer. The rest are all out there in the dunes somewhere. I'm sorry. War's war, sir. If it didn't crash hard, they wouldn't have built us in the first place. If it makes you feel any better, Horatio cut a finger off a giant robot that I'm pretty sure was Goliath. Well, sir, someone right. ought to stick a metal on your chest. Interesting. Okay, so there's this big war, and he thinks that we're from, um, that city, I guess? Why are you in line? Seeing as how I'm on the outside now, sir, I figured I had to go pay restitution for shooting up the enemy HQ. Enemy HQ? Yes, sir. That big tower in the center of the city. Okay, so why haven't you paid? It sounds like all of this happened a long time ago. Years ago, sir. But the courthouse has been locked down the whole time. I figured they'll open it up eventually, and then I can clear my name. What if it doesn't open? Well, sir, I know all about it. Hurry up and wait. Interesting. Can I try opening that door? Lay that, sir. The authorities told me that no one goes in till the door opens on its own. But aren't we on the same side? Affirmative, sir. But since I'm on CivDiv now, my programming requires me to submit to the local authorities. Huh. What happened to 113th and Primer? After we got to Metropole, we tried to put up a fight, but couldn't do much. They fried 113th, and my rifles jammed. Primer surrendered on our behalf. After dressing us down, they took all my big guns and sold the 113th shell to some scrap dealer. Primer never was the same. He encrypted part of his own logic so he wouldn't have to think about losing the war any longer. Then, he disappeared beneath the city. And me, I came here. How did the war end? For Surly Company, it ended when we staggered in here and surrendered. Beyond that, sir, it's all above my pay grade. Truth is, sir, we never even knew what we were fighting for, let alone what the Metropolitans wanted. So I can't say for certain that Metropole won, but I'm pretty sure Urbani lost, what with all the civilians being dead and the army being beaten. Right. Isn't that isn't that true of war? Often oftentimes soldiers don't even know what they're fighting for. How do you know you even have to pay something? This seems logical, sir. What if I could pay your fine for you, or get it cancelled? Well, sir, then I'd be much obliged, and I'd probably just leave town. Can't say that I'd much like being in enemy territory. And how are we gonna do that, boss? I'll figure something out. Goodbye. Oh, okay, oh, we've no, got a sorry. lot to do here. Clued it. Oh, okay, we can go down. 
Believe that. Keep information. I guess we need to wait our turn. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so embarrassed. I should have tried harder on that riddle. I suck. But, so we'll have to find another judge, I guess. Or, uh, for those two. I'm gonna sign off, uh, for now, guys. Robots, however miserable it may be to go around solving other robots' problems, and it is miserable, at least it beats standing in line and waiting for a door to open like these gearboxes are doing. Ain't that the truth. This is Luckless Lovelock signing off for now, and I love you all.